Make sure that you don't have to uh, release the pads. All right, and slide the drum off. Okay. Now you want to take and visually inspect the brake shoes, the springs. You want to make sure you check the rollers, the S cam. Now we're going to check the control of uh, out around and also uh, drum clearance. First thing you're going to do is take your. Alright, you want to take it and set it down in here? sure that you can see the numbers all right so this one says 16.5 inches we're doing out around so we're gonna now we're gonna take it and we're gonna turn it about an X like so off the drum I don't want to recheck it this one's 16.5 so then you would take those two numbers for out around and check by subtracting together whatever this on this is the out around of the drum. For the minimum thickness is you want to roll the drum over and written on the drum down here is the minimum out around, I mean the minimum spec that you can have this break in service. Alright. Now you want to do after you've done all your inspections, you want to take and put the drum back on and then readjust the brakes. I'm going to show you that now. All right, now I'm going to show you how to adjust using the slack adjuster here. What you do is take a 7 16 wrench or ratchet, take it and put it on the, the hex head right here, right there, and you want to turn it clockwise until it touches the drum. The pads touch the drum. Like so. And then you want to back it off a half turn. So I'm going to do two quarter turns just so that way it's easier. Like so. All right, and that's properly adjusted brakes. You didn't throw them, did you? Action. All right, now y'all are gonna slide the tire back on, bolt the lug nuts down to 500 foot pounds, and then you're done.